Hey, welcome back to Star Technology, where in the last video, we upgraded this distilling rig to be uh, pretty convoluted now, with a cracker and a second distillation tower, mostly for helium. And in my own time, I've been looking through some of the things we've got left, and there isn't all that much. There's RTM coils to upgrade the blast furnaces. There's the whole platinum and palladium line to get the rarest metals, and then there's Enstone and Netherrack to get all of the various airs and the things they can net me. And apparently liquid air is a, an easier way of getting helium, because it gives argon as well, and argon's also pretty useful. So all of this is probably what I'll move on with next, but to get any of these airs in any feasible quality is kind of finicky with Greg Tech, because if I want ender air, I need to get Endstone, and then I've got to process that through into the liquid air and get all of that out of it. Same with Netherrack to get Nether air. I guess liquid air I can just presumably compress whatever I get out of the air collector, but I think the easy way to do it is through mystical agriculture with the air essence, and probably a bunch of the other essences too. They're also probably useful, and I've been wanting to try mystical agriculture for a while. Because although this tree is kind of scary, most of these essences, I don't want to call them useless, but they're just a side grade to the sieves, so I can kind of ignore them for a little while. And also, from the small amount that I've been looking into this, it's a pretty different way of doing mystical agriculture, and I'm interested to see how it works. And I also found this huge multi-block that I kind of just want to build it for the hell of it. And I'm probably going to need to do it in this video because this is how you get the higher tier essences. And I think this is an interesting way of doing it, of locking higher tier essences behind different power tiers. I'm interested to see how this goes. So that's kind of the plan for this video. Do as much of mystical agriculture as I can really do. Also, there's all this stuff on the side here that is probably going to come into play at some point, but I don't know yet. Anyway, the first goal is to get all of these essences, and I guess their respective seeds as well. And a good place to start is just Inferium Essence. So, I need a ton of Liquid Glowstone, a ton of Phosphorus, and a ton of Beryllium Dust. And I have a bit of spare Beryllium for making some of these machines, so I don't need too much more. I'll probably get the Essence Replicator going to get a lot of these essences, but I can get a decent amount of the starting stuff. And I've got 56 Phosphorus. I can just electrolyze a bunch more Phosphate to get the rest. Okay, so I've got 100 Beryllium Dust and 100 Phosphorus Dust. Now I just need a bunch of Liquid Glowstone, just 100 Dust worth. And I need to put all of this in the mixer. Although I'm not entirely sure how to get all the liquid in. I'll just do it the easy way. 100 Inferium. And that's probably going to take a while actually. Mostly because of that Glowstone. So, what else am I going to need here? Well, I'm going to need Mystical Greenhouse and an Essence Burner, and probably the Essence Replicator as well. And those... those aren't too bad. I might make an Eevee Essence Burner. Hmm. Maybe not. Hmm. HP's fine, and I need to make the LV just for the sake of triggering the quest. And most of these LV machines are pretty simple, so I can just go ahead and make those real quick, just to trigger the quest. And then the HV stuff also shouldn't be that bad. And they each have almost the same recipe as each other. All I'm really missing is two HV emitters. And with a couple pumps and some extra components, I can get the, best, the Essence Burner and the Mystical Greenhouse. Fairly easily. So, I have a bit of a starting point here. I think I'm going to start filling up this little area again. Or should I put this in its own bit? I'll put the two multi-blocks in their own bit. But otherwise, I don't know how much it matters. Hmm... Chances are I'm going to have a bunch of these mystical greenhouses. Yeah, I'm going to put these in their own bit. And I may as well put the essence burner with them. And I think I might put it over here. Because pretty soon, I'm probably going to replace this whole lava setup with essence burning. Yeah, I can probably just hijack this energy converter. There, now I've just got a big line of HP, HP power along here. Okay, so... Now I just need to get a bunch of these regular essences. So I'm just going to put a stack of Inferium in the centrifuge and see how much I get. I got 
decent amount of things. Oh, I was just short of being able to get fire and water seeds. Because I need 16 for a seed. I think I'm going to put a bit more Inferium through. See if I can get those last little bits. Yep, I've got enough for water. Just one more fire. There we go. And these all go in the compressor. I don't think I have a compressor. I don't know if I ever bothered. No, I don't think I have a compressor. Hmm. They shouldn't be too hard to make. Yeah, compressor's pretty simple. So all I really need to do is just put all these essences in. Can I make Inferium Seeds? Doesn't look like it. No, there aren't Inferium Seeds. I guess that's what the Essence Replicator is for. Well, I now have all of the Elemental Seeds. How do I build off of that to get the other Essences? Ah, Stone is Earth, Fire, Air. And I'm probably going to need another 16 of these so I can get the seeds growing. Because Stone Essence, that could be pretty useful. Just for some of the misc stone. I'll probably get all of these base essences in their own greenhouse. So I'm going to need to start growing a ton of these seeds to make that. And I think it's going to end up being a bit annoying to try and manually make all of the greenhouses I need. So I wonder if I can turn it into a recipe. Okay, I think I've got everything that I can for the recipe of the greenhouse. I didn't get a recipe for steel rotors or rubber rings. I can probably get a recipe for rubber rings. Yeah, I can do it in the extruder. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, and I guess I could get a rotor mold for the extruder. Yeah, if I've gone this far, I may as well. There we go, steel rotor recipe. So now, what am I missing? I don't have a recipe for rubber ingots? Oh yeah, I only did liquid rubber. Okay, it's not too hard to fix that. Actually, that's the wrong one. I want the ingot one. Okay, now I can just order up mystical greenhouses. Yeah, these greenhouses are actually being crafted pretty quickly. There we go, all four of them pretty quickly. Pretty easily. All right, I've already got one, so I only actually needed three. Oh well. I'm gonna need more later on anyway. Oh wait, this needs water? To get water essence? Oh, they all do. Ah. Why does water essence not give me just straight water? I don't know, I can just export straight into these. I'll be fine. Oh, and there's a consumption chance on the Inferium too. So I can't just run this forever. Hmm. There's a few logistical things that I hadn't quite figured out yet. So I think I'm gonna need to set something up down here to keep all of these stocked with water. I'm going to have a fluid tank there that I constantly export out of and I'll constantly fill it with water and that should then go through and fill up all of these greenhouses with water and it'll grow the essences until I run out of Inferium. So that's the next problem to solve. I need to get the Inferium to fill up those greenhouses and that's where I get the essence replicator and I don't think this is actually going to be all that hard. Hmm, actually, the multi-block itself, maybe? Might not be that bad. I'll see. Yeah, the control block isn't too bad. Now I just need all the rest of the stuff for the replicator. The hatches, they kind of go without saying. I'm guessing I can overclock it. I guess we'll see. But I need an input hatch, an output hatch, two energy hatches, need another maintenance hatch, I need another power converter, and then I just need all of the blocks to make up this frame. It looks like it's going to be a lot. So, I need 12 aluminium frames. I have 11 of the heatproof invar machine casings. It asks for 26. I'm going to need one less because I've got the energy hatch. So I need another 14. That's not so bad. And I need 12 hardened glass. That's not too bad either. And then last, I need 18 steel firebox casings. These don't seem so bad. I have so many steel frames. I'm just going to need 36 rods and 36 plates, and then I can make all 18 of the firebox casings. And I think that's all I need for this. Some Enderium wire, and yeah, I think that's it. So let's get this in place. This is a 5x5x5 five by five by five multi-block. I think I can fit it in here. Maybe one more forward to give myself a little bit more space. I can have energy around the back. Inputs I'll put around the front. Actually, I just realized I put this a bit further to the side than I thought. Hang on. I'll put the output hatch and the maintenance hatch up the top. 
So then, oh, spread these too far apart again. I need the steel firebox casings in the middle, and I'll complete the ring of the invar casings. Then aluminium frames up like that. And where does the hardened glass go? Ah, it goes between the aluminium frames. It's just a bit hard to see that. And steel firebox casings again on the top, and just finish off the ring. And it's not working. Maybe this can't be overclocked? Yep, that's what it was. Okay. So this is the essence replicator. Put the inferior essence in there. I don't think it needs a fluid yet. No, it just needs that. And just give it power. And it should just work. Oh yeah, and maintenance hatch. Every time I always forget about the maintenance hatch. And this still isn't working. Oh, I gave it an output hatch, not an output bus. I think it's going to need both, but it only needs the bus for now. I'll put the hatch on this side. It's not working now. Hmm. Okay. All right, well, it's making the Inferium now. So then I think I just need to pipe this into the greenhouses, and it just works. Not on that one yet. That one's empty. Yeah. Seems to be what I need to do. This is just going to keep working away, making more Inferium for me. Okay. I'm probably going to need to make one of these for each essence, because I don't think it'll do all of them. But all I need right now is the Inferium. So this should hopefully be able to keep all of these greenhouses stocked with Inferium Essence. I'm not going to start extracting from here, probably until I have a use for these essences. But also, it's just going to run through the Inferium a lot quicker than I can actually make it. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this be for a bit. And I can come back later and make all of these essences. I think the last thing that I want now is this Essence Enhancer. And this is the hefty multi-block. Although, it does have this parallel control hatch. I'm probably going to need that. And the lowest tier is Elite. It even takes LUV chips? I think I'm just going to go off the assumption that I don't need it. Because that doesn't make sense that I can't use this machine until LUV. Who knows, I might end up wasting all my time, but it's at least worth trying. So I can make the control block somewhat easily. Yeah, there's the control block. Not that bad. Again, I need to get all of the usual hatches. Actually, no fluid hatches. Just the buses. But the main thing here is all of these various machine casings and things to make up this whole multi-block. So, I might have enough spare solid machine casings? No, I've got 15. I need 35. Well, I just need another 60 steel plates. There we go, another 20 to get to the 35. And titanium pipe casings, that should be simple. Yeah, I just need titanium frame. Yeah, it's just a bunch of titanium. Then 27 stainless steel casings. I have one. Oh, this might be expensive to get the last 26. I need 78 stainless steel plates. 52 rods. Turn all the rods into the frames, and that should be all of the steel casings I need. Yeah, 27. Next, 16 aluminium machine casings. I already have two, so I need seven more frames, 42 more plates, and then that should make all of the machine casings I need. Right, now for the last one, the black steel frames. I need 44. I get the impression this is gonna take a while. 176 rods. So 88 ingots. That's surprisingly not that expensive. And it's crafting surprisingly quickly too. It just might take a little while in the blast furnace. All right, and all of these ingots, just throw them in the lathe and turn them all into black steel frames. And that should be everything I need here. It's telling me one less stainless steel casing because of the parallel control hatch. I can just get a few more of the steel casings See if I can go without that. So the multi-block itself is 7x5x5, by five by five, so that should be able to fit fairly nicely in here. Let's see, the stainless steel bits are the ones that get replaced with the hatches. So I'm going to put the energy hatch there, maintenance hatch there, I guess, then maybe input and output. And I can finish off each of these rings. And now for the middle bit, it's kind of complicated. The black steel frames don't seem too bad. They're just sort of this kind of circle all the way around. And the solid machine casings have a more predictable pattern that they fall into with the controller in the middle. And 
I'm kind of worried that I have eight spare steel frames. Oh, maybe they do go in the corners. It's really hard to tell, because from this angle, it looks like there isn't a block there. But from this angle, you can see there is. Yeah, because there just is. Okay, I just read the diagram wrong. I fill in these corners. And looks like maybe that worked. It hasn't quite as cleanly connected the textures. I think it works. There's just one thing that I want to test here. Can I overclock this? Yes. That looks promising, but if the drilling rig over there is anything to go off of, it might still not work. But it has the energy. What does it say? It says Ivy. I'll just do the maintenance. I think it works. So let's see. I can enhance all of the Inferium. Yeah, it's doing it. It enhances all of the Inferium into Prudentium. I'll hang on to one of them. And I can enhance the Prudentium into Tertium. This one takes a bit longer. And then I can enhance the Tertium into Imperium. Oh, this takes a whole 50 seconds. And I think that's the highest I can go. Yeah, by LUV I can get Supremium. And then ZPM for Awaken Supremium and UV for Insanium. So Imperium is the best I can do right now. And once I get to IV, getting the, the parallel thing is probably going to be good, because with how often I'm going to need to make multiple of those essences, it's probably going to be important. Because with just this, I can make every tier 4 or less seed, I think. It's not going to be easy. I'm going to be waiting on this machine for a long time, because unless I start getting some of these liquids, I can't... I can't do essence replication on more than Inferium, but I can technically get all the essences now. It's just not terribly feasible. <laughs> so to finish this off, I'm just going to get the rest of these essences, the baseline ones, because they only need Inferium. I've got plenty of that. So I'm going to need 16 of each of these essences, which is probably going to take quite a while. Oh, and I need even more of the wood essence. And some of the dirt essence too. But I can get the seeds first. I'm gonna need six more greenhouses. So I'll just get those running now. I'm gonna need to expand this area to accommodate for all the new greenhouses. And let's see what essences I can make. I'll start with stone. To get 16 of this, I need a stack of earth essence, a stack of fire, and half a stack of air. And it's on circuit one. So stick that in, give it about a minute. And it should make me 16 stone essence. There we go. And I just compress that into a seed and stick that in a greenhouse. I just need to put the items back in. There we go. That should be making stone essence now. So next, dirt essence. And I don't think I've got enough earth essence to afford this yet. Uh, maybe I do. Mmm, nearly. I just need a stack and a half. And 32 water essence, 48 fire essence. And this one's on circuit two. And there's all the dirt essence. Turn that into a seed as well. And I'm still going to be waiting on that greenhouse before I can finish this. Although some of this is stuck. And one thing that's been happening for a long time now... Yeah, this. Sometimes, when I'm smelting the ingots, one or two of them just get stuck behind in the input bus. And I have no idea why. Like, 95% of the time, the items go through perfectly fine. But that 5% of the time, they linger. And this has been happening for the past like 10 episodes and I've just dealt with it. But it's starting to get really annoying. <laughs> well, I think the greenhouses are back on track again. So, wood essence, that's what's next. I need two stacks of earth essence. 48 water, 64 air. I think I'm gonna have to come back to that earth essence. So then I'll move on to ice essence, that's next. I need 112 water and 16 air. And that's on circuit three. So I'll just get that going. And the 16 ice essence gets compressed into a seed. There we go, ice seeds. So now, hmm, to get nature, I'm going to need wood essence. Same with coal. And dye is going to need dirt. So I'm going to have to figure out what the hell is wrong with this crafting recipe. Why is it suddenly not making the greenhouses? They worked fine before. Is it a problem with the chemical reactor? Yeah, there's three silicon in there, and nothing in the fluid hatch. 
I'm trying to put hydrochloric acid and methanol or it's silicon in a large chemical reactor. What is consuming it first? Oh, it is the methanol on the hydrochloric acid on its own. Yeah. I've got a ton of this chloromethane. I'd like all of the methane or the methanol back from this. Didn't even give me methanol, it just gave me methane. I'll just make some of this manually and fix it up later. Some kind of recipe conflict from being on a, a non-circuit. I don't know. It worked before and I have no idea why. So that seemed to be the problematic recipe. Is it going to be fine now? I think so. Ah, oh, Greg taking me so finicky at times. Well, while I wait for that, I should have enough earth essence to get the rest of the wood essence. That's on circuit zero. So that should get me all of the wood essence I need. At least enough to get me a seed. Okay, finally, the greenhouses are being made. I can start putting these in around here. I can make some dirt. I can make some ice. I can make some wood. So I think... Yeah, dye seeds require the least of the other essences. So let's see, I just need a stack of fire, half a stack of air, and half a stack of dirt. All right, there's the 32 dirt essence I need. And this doesn't even need a circuit. Just goes straight in the mixer. Although, oh, this takes quite a lot longer. <laughs> oh well. I'm going to be waiting on wood for a while to get <laughs> most things. All right, so there's enough dye essence for me to get the dye seeds. So I'm basically just going to be waiting on wood essence and... Till I can get the rest of these. Uh, I might be able to get nature essence. Yeah, 48 wood, 64 earth, 32 water. I have enough earth, and I have enough wood. Just stick that in there, and that gets me enough nature essence for that seed. So now I'm just waiting on two stacks of wood essence to get the coal. Come on, one more wood essence. Mm. There we go. So now I can make all of that coal essence. And I can finally make myself that seed. And with that, I think I'm done with what I wanted to do with mystical agriculture for now. <laughs> and this is not at all how I thought the mystical agriculture stuff would look. But I guess it does say it's gregified. And gregified indeed. <laughs> it has now become much more balanced and much more tedious. Just like everything in Greg Tech. But I think that's all I wanted to do in this video. I wanted to get the two multi-blocks, and I wanted to get all of these baseline essences. I probably only needed the elemental ones, but these other ones can be pretty good. Nature essence is usually a good call. Dye essence is just nice to have. Normally stone and dirt can be used in a lot of various crafting things. I'm not sure if that holds true here. And then wood essence is also just really nice. Ice essence, I don't know. But I guess until now, I haven't really had the easiest way of getting ice. Hmm. I guess I've got ice now in case I want it. But I think that's some good progress for this video. And as I was saying at the start of the video, that's kind of the only thing left before I just start progressing to ivy. I mean, nothing in ivy is explicitly locked behind anything left. I could probably just work up to the circuit next time. I just want to keep seeing what I can do on each tier before I go much further. So next time, I'm probably just going to complete all these quests for the hell of it. Uh, I should probably explore down here a bit more. I think there might be one more video in Eevee, and then we progress into Ivy. And Ivy has its own set of things to deal with, but it doesn't look to be so many fluids. Anyway, that's for a little while in the future. I'm done for this video. I'm pretty happy with this progress. I have been wanting to check out Mystical Agriculture for a while, see how it works, and now I see it is extremely tedious. On top of being very intimidating, so that's fun. But I don't think I'm going to touch it again in any serious manner, unless there's a particular resource that I really need a lot of, and it'd just be easier to do it with Mystical Agriculture. Yeah. So, I think that's it for me. I'm calling it here. Bye.